Hello and welcome to another episode of the Social Connection. It's your program about social media, the trends you talked about, the videos you shared, and what new changes social media companies offer its users. I'm Arun Nayal, and with me is Preeti Tiwari. Thank you, Arun. Welcome, everyone. In the next half an hour, we'll take you through the top trends, latest news, and everything that kept the social media space busy. But first up, let's take a look at what we have in store for you in this edition. Twitter CEO Dick Costolo to step down will be replaced by co-founder Jack Dorsey. Drivers of banned web and application-based taxi firms protest in New Delhi. Apple announces new streaming music service called Apple Music. Microblogging site Twitter CEO Dick Costolo is stepping down on July 1st. The company announced the move in a press release on Thursday and Costolo also tweeted the news through his own account. Costolo will remain on the board and Twitter chairman Jack Dorsey will be the interim CEO. Here is more in this report. Twitter CEO Dick Costolo abruptly announced he was stepping down on Thursday amid increasing scrutiny of the company's slow user growth and inability to attract advertisers at the same rate as its competitors. Costolo will be replaced by co-founder Jack Dorsey on an interim basis. According to a source familiar with the matter, it was Costolo's decision to leave. And Costolo said he brought it up with the board last year as it began talking about succession planning. Twitter has had a number of shakeups in its management. Co-founders Jack Dorsey and Evan Williams both served as CEOs of the company before Costolo has overhauled much of his management team over the past year. Costolo has agreed to cancel all of his remaining unvested equity in Twitter after 1st of July. Dorsey, who will continue to serve as CEO of Square Inc, has served as Twitter's president and CEO from May 2007 to October 2008. Dorsey said the CEO search has not begun. But he noted the company was looking for a CEO who uses Twitter every day and loves the product. Costolo will remain on Twitter's board of directors. Dorsey said the company will consider internal and external candidates for his permanent replacement. Greeting Dorsey by his Twitter handle, Costolo wrote, Welcome back, Jack, and linked to the official Twitter announcement. Web-based cab drivers of Uber, Ola and Taxi for Sure protested in New Delhi demanding immediate lifting of a ban on their services. Drivers said their livelihood has been affected by the ban. The State Transport Authority last week rejected the license applications of these firms, citing violation of ban orders. More details in this report. Taxi drivers of web-based Uber, Ola and Taxi for Sure held a protest in New Delhi on Monday demanding immediate lifting of a ban which they said was affecting their livelihood. New Delhi's Transport Authority last week rejected a license application of Uber, its local rival Ola and Taxi for Sure citing violation of ban orders imposed by the government last year. After the orders of the ban, traffic police had seized the taxis which were plying on the roads of the national capital, leaving many drivers unemployed. On Monday, hundreds of drivers, mostly unemployed, gathered at Janta Mantha, a centre of protest in the capital to protest the government decision. This is our livelihood effect. You know that our time is connected to the people who work in these companies. If you are dependent on 1,000,000 people, then you will be dependent on 5,000,000 people who are dependent on them. अब हमारे 10-15 बंदा दिन हो गए हमारी कार्स इंस्टॉलमेंट पे हैं हमारे रेंट पे रहते हैं रेंट है सारी चीजें हैं वो हम कहाँ से भी करेंगे India asked unregistered web-based taxi services to halt operations in December after a driver contracted with Uber was accused of rape both Uber and Ola applied for licenses in New Delhi but kept operating while approvals were pending in March, New Delhi asked the companies to stop if they want their licenses to be processed. The applications were rejected last week because the companies failed to comply. Meanwhile, a driver working with Uber, A.S. Pandey, praised the company for improving their living standards. Because of Uber, we have changed the lives of the drivers. The big transporters here were here, they were doing our sourcing, they were giving us 8-9,000 rupees. उसमें आज के टाइम में आप जानते हो कि क्या फैमिली का गुजारा हो सकता है आठ नौ हजार रुपए में आज हमने गाड़ियां खरीदी हैं उबर के थ्रू खरीदी हैं उबर ने हमारे को कम पैसे में गाड़ियां दिलवाई हैं और हमारे को जीने का रास्ता दिखाया पांडे आल्सो सेड दैट दे वेंट टू मीट दिल्ली ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्टर गोपाल राय एस वेल एस इंडिया ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्टर नितिन गडकरी एंड एक्सप्लेन देम देयर सिचुएशन द हार्श डिसीजन बाय दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट केम आफ्टर अनदर ड्राइवर वर्किंग विद उबर वाज अरेस्टेड लास्ट वीक नियर न्यू दिल्ली आफ्टर अ वुमेन पैसेंजर अक्यूज्ड हिम ऑफ सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट व्हेन शी हेल्ड हिज कैब 
The driver was later released on bail. Uber said it was willing to share the necessary information with authorities. Uber offers taxi services using its mobile application. In recent weeks, it has launched new safety features including stricter background screening of its driver and an in-app SOS button that connects to the police. Apple unveiled a new subscription service simply called Apple Music to compete with Spotify, Pandora and other services that are quickly redefining how consumers buy and listen to music. Apple's venture will offer personalized playlists that stream over the internet and pull from the massive song library on Apple's iTunes store. Here's more. Apple launched Apple Music on Monday, a 9.9 US dollar a month streaming music service that may not differ dramatically from competitors, but comes with Apple's deep music roots, global brand and hundreds of millions of iTunes customers. Apple's push into the streaming business will likely alter the dynamics of how consumers listen to music as the music industry grapples with declines in downloaded songs and tries to figure out new ways to get people to pay for music. The unveiling of the service, the kickoff of the week-long Worldwide Developers Conference, also included the announcement of an upgraded operating system for Apple's watch that will let developers create speedier native apps that rely on the iPhone. It's all the ways you love music, all in one place. And that place is almost in a billion hands around the world already. One app, one single app on your iPhone. Apple Music is three things. It's a revolutionary music service. Oh. <laughs> a revolutionary music service curated by the leaning music experts who we, uh, we helped handpick. She is gonna have a fantastic future ahead. Apple said that El Capitan will be the name of the next version of OS X for its Macs. Apple's music service will enable artists to share songs directly with fans, include a global 24 into 7 radio station named Beats One and stream music from the entire iTunes catalog. Apple Music follows similar streaming service from Spotify, which streams music from record labels and media companies, Pandora, a self-described personalized audio, radio stations and others. Apple Music's 9.99 US dollar a month price takes effect after a three-month free subscription period. The company is also offering what it calls a family plan for 14.99 US dollar a month for up to six family members. The success of Apple Chief Executive Officer Tim Cook's first new product, the watch, will likely hinge on a compelling collection of apps. But early apps for the timepiece have been tied to the iPhone, placing limits on what developers could do. The company also unveiled new details about its Apple Pay service, saying it was already supported by more than 2,500 banks and will surpass 1 million locations accepting it next month. In a related move, Apple said it would rename Passbook its app for credit and debit cards and boarding passes to Wallet. We are heading for a short commercial break. We have lots of interesting stories coming up. Stay tuned and keep watching DD News. Bhaag Daud ki zindagi mein Phursat kaha? Lambi kahani ke liye Khoop saari behes ke liye Chahi केवल खबर जल्द जल्द खबर बस पांच मिनट में पंद्रह खबरें सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर नाउ द नेशनल न्यूज चैनल ऑफ इंडिया लाइव ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन गेट द न्यूज ऑन द गो वॉच टॉप वीडियोस गेट द लेटेस्ट न्यूज एंड कंटिन्यूस न्यूज on your mobile phone download dd news app now visit the android play store search for dd news download the app to your phone get the power of information at your fingertips dd news only news complete news
ब्रेकिंग न्यूज की रेस से हटकर खबरें कुछ अच्छी भी हैं खबरें जो बढ़ाएंगी हौसला और विश्वास उम्मीद भरी खबरें जो लाएंगी मुस्कान गुड न्यूज इंडिया Welcome back you must be familiar with the trending topics of the week but here's a quick wrap of the top trends on social media sites Indian army's operation against militants along the border areas of Myanmar in respect to attack in Manipur was listed among the trending topics of the week on different social media sites Special forces of the army in coordination with the air force carried out a surgical strike along the border area It killed nearly 20 insurgents of the group believed to be responsible for the deadly ambush in Manipur that killed 18 soldiers. The hashtag Indian Army and Indian Army Rocks were talking point on online medium as well. Jurassic World, the latest movie in the Jurassic Park series, hit the silver screen this week and created buzz among the viewers. Hashtag Jurassic World trended top in the list as soon as the day of release came. The worldwide release of the movie had mixed reaction of the people and collected over 18.6 million dollar on the opening day. Indian actor Irfan Khan has also played an important role in the movie. Struggling phone maker BlackBerry is considering equipping an upcoming smartphone with Google's Android software for the first time, an acknowledgement that its revamped line of devices has failed to win mass appeal in recent years. But neither Google nor BlackBerry confirmed the report about the launch. The news created buzz online and made BlackBerry top trend of the week. Gas leak incident in Ludhiana where 6 persons were killed and over 1500 affected after inhaling hazardous fume in an ammonia gas tanker leak was trending topic on Twitter and Facebook. The incident occurred when the tanker got struck under a flyover along a canal on the bypass road. Police said that the incident occurred on the Delhi Ludhiana highway on Saturday morning. First image release of the Kung Fu Panda series 3 was one of the top talking points online. The third film in the Kung Fu Panda series includes returning actor Jack Black as well as Brian Cranston and Rebel Wilson. The movie is scheduled to be released in theater on January 29th. The first look of the plethora of new pandas seem fresh, exciting and entertaining to change everything people knew about the franchise. The Indian Military Academy held its 136th regular course passing out parade in Dehradun this week. It was a day to remember for the young officers of the country as their hard work, perseverance and tough training finally saw their dream come true. The Chief of Naval Staff Admiral RK Dhawan was the receiving officer at the parade. Following this, hashtag Indian Military Academy trended on Twitter. Microsoft's Windows 10 will debut in 190 countries on 29th of July. As previously announced by the world's largest software developer, users with PCs and laptops running Windows 7 and Windows 8 will be able to get Windows 10 as a free upgrade. Take a look. Microsoft has set a date for the launch of its next operating system, Windows 10, and a lot is at stake. The world's largest software developer said it will release the new Windows worldwide on July 29. That's earlier than its traditional launches in fall, and Microsoft will offer it as a free upgrade for users of recent Windows versions. In the official blog, it said Windows 10 will help people be more productive and have more fun with a personal and natural experience that works across all their devices. Windows 10 will be available as a free upgrade to people using Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, enabling hundreds of millions of people around the world to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. It's crucial that Microsoft gets it right this time in light of the unpopularity of predecessor Windows 8. Many users criticize its tablet-like interface. Windows 10 is trying to rectify that by bringing back the start menu. It will also replace aging Internet Explorer with a new browser called Microsoft Edge, and it will feature the digital software assistant Cortana that is now only available on Windows Phone. By adding things like Cortana, Microsoft is trying to create an ecosystem like Apple and have one Windows system run across all devices from PC to tablets to phone and thereby lock in the consumer. For now, Microsoft says Windows 10 will be available for PCs and tablets in July, but later this year for smartphones and other devices as well. Microsoft faces a huge challenge. Many mobile app developers said that they do not plan to develop for Windows 10 at all. 
Well, we are heading for a short commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Stay tuned and keep watching DD News. हर दिन बदलती खबरें हर पल बनती नई सुर्खियां खबरों की रफ्तार के साथ हर दोपहर दुनिया की ताजा तस्वीर दोपहर समाचार रोजाना दो बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर सुर्खियों की भीड़ में अहम खबरें असल मुद्दे जो डालते हैं आपकी जिंदगी पर असर दिन भर की हर बड़ी खबर का बेपाक विश्लेषण सच सटीक संपूर्ण न्यूज नाइट सोमवार से शुक्रवार रात आठ से दस बजे सिर्फ डी डी न्यूज पर सुबह का सही आगाज ताजा खबरों के साथ सुर्खियों के आईने से देश विदेश की सही तस्वीर और दिन के हर पहलू पर नजर नया सवेरा सोमवार से शुक्रवार सुबह सात बजे सिर्फ डी डी न्यूज पर तस्वीरें जो बयां करती हैं हकीकत हालात जिनसे जुड़े हैं आपके जज्बात जुनून जो बदल सकता है देश की तस्वीर खबरें जो आपके लिए जानना है जरूरी खबर दिन भर हर शाम पांच बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर Belgium has dismantled one of its last phone booth in a ceremony marking the end of public phones in the country. With the widespread use of mobile phones, the usage of phone booths plummeted to few minutes of calls per month. Take a look. Belgium dismantles one of its last phone booths in a ceremony marking the end of public phones in the country. The removals came 2 years after the government lifted an obligation for the former national operator and the largest mobile telecommunications company in the country to maintain booths some 85 years after the first public phones appeared on the streets of Belgium. According to the former monopoly company, the number of booths in Belgium reached its peak in 1998 with 18,000 phones dispatched across the country with an average usage of 15 hours of call per month from each telephone booth. With the widespread use of mobile phones, the usage of phone booths plummeted to 16 minutes of call per month per booth in 2008 and it came as a relief to the company when the government decided in 2013 to abandon the obligation to maintain public phones. Proximus chairman Stefan de Klerk said phone booths were getting obsolete in a country dominated by mobile phones. It is pas in 2013 that the wetgever heeft It's only in 2013 that lawmakers decided that this is not needed any longer. We immediately started removing them. The removal ends today with this last phone booth, but we know that everybody stays connected with mobile phones. This is the end of long and beautiful era of telephony. Today it has evolved into a new digital world. Tot een nieuwe digitale wereld vandaag. A few passerby attended the ceremony more out of curiosity than nostalgia. Delhi de Groof, a resident and retired primary school teacher, said that she had stopped using phone booths except to make anonymous calls and pranks in the past. Oh, I didn't use it very much. Only when you didn't want uh, people to know that it was you that was calling, I used it for a joke or something like that. But. Uh... 
On the streets of Brussels, some disapproved of the disappearance of the public phones. A former secretary for a large French cosmetic brand, 73-year-old Vivan Van Roy, said phone booths were a good option for people uncomfortable with the use of increasingly complicated mobile phones. I think they could have left a few of them for those who are not familiar with mobile phones. Valerie Van Liffrinch said phone booths could be used in case of emergency, adding she opposed the assumption that everyone carries around a mobile phone. I think it is dangerous to assume that people have their own communication means, mobile phone or landline. This will not always be the case. Camille Packot, an 18-year-old language student, said she no longer uses phone booths but is happy to find some when she travels abroad. Personally, I'm not going to miss them because I have my own mobile phone. But when I get to travel to France for scout camps, the phone booth we find in small villages come in handy to call our parents back here. The cabins will not completely disappear into the void with Proximus giving 30 phone booths to artists and curators. 20 of them will be put on display in various museums, culture center and heritage sites across the country. 10 of them will be handed over to artists who have until March to present a reuse project to the company. All will be asked to pick a booth in a warehouse in the coming month. Artists will then have one year to complete their project. It's time to see all the feedback that you sent in on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Well, this is the end of our show. Continue sending in your feedback, comments as you have been on ddnews.com at gmail.com, on our Twitter handle, DD News Live, our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. Yes, but before we sign off, we leave you with an interesting video. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did presenting it to you. See you again next week. Thank you and goodbye.